hearts, oh Lord. With gratitude in our hearts, oh Father. We say thank you. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. By the power of the Holy Ghost. For in Jesus' name, let us pray as we have started this journey. That we may continue to the coming of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for zeal, for thirst and hunger and over the kingdom, walk in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, we pray, Lord, for the thirst and hunger and so God, for the kingdom, walk in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, as we have started this journey, O Lord, Lord, as we may continue to go in your coming in the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God. Lord, we pray for more understanding of your word. We pray for the grace. We pray for happy times, oh God. Lord, may we learn for your kingdom. May we learn for your kingdom. May we learn for the things of God in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty and wonderful name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, let me pray. As we don't take a boldness, we don't take a step until today, the end of the graduation, let me pray. Whatsoever will they do now with different life step? Anything will they do, neither at school will they go, now business will they do, now job will they, will, they, will, they, will they do. Let me pray that God will give me uh, our knowledge over there with things that we will do. That God will make we go succeed with gifts and our futures them go. God will accomplish your wisdom with understanding and uh, now uh, in uh, the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, we pray Lord, uh, whatever we do in our study, God will be giving us certificates. Uh, we pray every work of life so God in our lives. Uh, we pray Lord in the name of Jesus that our vision may be accomplished. Let our vision may be accomplished in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord. Uh, Jesus, help us to continue this rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, O oh Lord, that celebration may never cease in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the mighty and wonderful name of Jesus, O oh Lord, may celebration never cease in our lives. May we accomplish, O oh God, whatsoever. May we accomplish your God in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let we pray for that passion. As we don't start, we will continue in Jesus' name. Let we pray for the passion. Father, Lord, we pray for the passion, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray for that passion, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray for the passion. We pray for the passion, Lord. For the passion in the name of Jesus. For the passion, let the passion of God. For the things of God, let me go to God in prayer. Let me pray for the things of God, for the zeal, for the strength. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for zeal, we pray for strength. For the things of God, in the mighty name of Jesus, for the things of God, in the name of Jesus, give us the strength. Give us the strength, Lord. Father, I give us the strength, Lord. Let the things of God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Let the things of God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Give us the grace of God, for your work of God, in the name of Jesus. Father, give us the strength of God, for your work of God, in the name of Jesus. Father, give us the strength of God, give us the strength of God, for in Jesus' name we pray. Let me continue for pray for the understanding. Let me go to God in prayer. Let me pray for the understanding. Let me pray for understanding. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for understanding. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for understanding. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for understanding. Lord, God, in the name of Jesus. For your word, Lord, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for wisdom, O God. We pray for knowledge, O God. We pray for understanding, O God. For your word, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for wisdom, O God. We pray for understanding, O God. For your word, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for wisdom, O God. We pray for understanding, O God. For your word, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, give us understanding, O God. 
the respected teachers and the presenter and the students. A special thanks to the chief guest of the day. It is an honor to be graced by your presence. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. You can clap better. You can clap better. Come on. Can I the of kings? Amen. Chief Ebenezer, are you here? If you're here, come on. Identify with the wave of hand. Team Bethel, are you here? Identify with the wave. Team Zion, Team Zion, are you there? Are you there, Team Zion? Um, before this program is done, we get the ninth item winner, the vote of thanks. The vote of thanks, they come off from the best presenter. So all you will be present during the presentation, get yourself prepared for doing the vote of thanks. How much can we be present? Raise your hand, please. All the presenters: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight presenters here, and amongst these eight presenters, one of you will be doing the vote of thanks. So get ready. The best among you will be doing the vote of thanks. Celebrate yourself one more time. Amen. The next item on the agenda is the group presentation. For this session, we're going to have a summary of all that was taught, all that was learned during these five days. Amen. So all the, all the topics you presented on, we're going to do a summary of all those four topics in 10 minutes. You can, you can have a single um, presenter presenting all those, four, on, all those four topics, or you can have two presenters, three presenters, based on how you've planned your presentation. So now, without wasting time, we're going to go. So we are doing this in, in this fashion. Ebenezer, Bethel, and Zion. Ladies and gentlemen, can we put our hands together as Team Ebenezer as they come for their presentation. Come on. I love the boldness of the young man. Look at how he's working out majestically. Come on, celebrate Ebenezer. Come on, our helpers, come. Come on, come on. You are not rapping. Hallelujah. Hey. See, they don't worry, they ask questions. Okay, space day off. When I go up. Uh -huh. Amen. See, they don't ask questions. We'll keep you question. Good morning, church. My name is Elijah. First of all, I want to say, make it good here. Today I will be presenting on kingdom relationship. King, everybody say kingdom relationship. Kingdom relationship. We need to understand the meaning of relationship before we can go into details. So I will say a relationship is a way in which two or more people or things are connected. It's a way in which two people are connected or things are connected. I can, we can get a scripture from Genesis 1, 27 to 28, also from Genesis 2, 18 to 22, also Genesis 2, 15. We have God's relationship. God's relationship. God's relationship with God is built through a constant belief. There must be a constant belief. You must have belief when you want to make a relationship with God. There must be a strong belief. When you mean a constant belief, it doesn't change. Your, your belief should not change. Understand? You should not be a, 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 a believer that changes. Understand? You should not be a believer that changes. So I would say we have kingdom relationship is built with God and man. It's built with God and man. Matthew 22, verse 38 to 39. Out to worship. You cannot worship with God without your heart, your soul, and your mind. These three things work together. If you want to worship with God, you must worship with your heart, your soul, and with your, your mind. They must, they must be connected. Genesis 1, 26, Genesis 3, verse 8, and also have Genesis 2, 15. We also get John 3, verse 8. Now, 
three things that happens to a person when he or she is in a relationship. There are three key things that happen to an individual. One, your time will be wasted. When you're in a relationship, your time will be wasted. Even physically, your time will be wasted. You must labor. Physically, you will labor. Spiritually, you will labor. Even emotionally, you will labor. And you also have I would say, resources. If physically, this is the thing that is affecting most of the relationship. If you are a man, you cannot give uh, resources to your wife. Some wife, they will start grumbling. They will start um, uh, finding all sorts of ways to, to find this problem. Just because we do not have the resources. So these things work together. How does relationship work? How can you know that this relationship works in your life? One, sending an invitation is one way. So send an invitation. Physically, I want to make an, make an example. I want to call the girl. I need to send an invitation by saying, so asking the name of the girl, interview the girl. That is, I'm sending an invitation to the girl. Verse two, accepting the relationship. I need to accept the relationship before I go into the relationship. I cannot go into a, 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 a relationship that I cannot accept. That is two. But uh, three, be humble. When you're in a relationship, you must be humble. You must be humble to yourself. As I said, if you, uh, there are lots of wives. If, if a man doesn't have a resources, he can never be humble to his, 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 his man. Sometimes you need to be humble to your man. You need to be humble to your husband. Even if he has strength in financial problems, but be humble to, to, to that man. And four, you must be a prayer with you. You must be able to, be, to, to, to pray. Is it pray without ceasing? A prayerless Christian. You cannot be a prayerless Christian. The devil will overtake you. So these are the other things. And five is gifts. You must only, women will like women like gifts. Women like it. No, there's no woman I can tell you that he doesn't like it. Any woman who, who, who doesn't like it, very easy to No woman can tell me he doesn't like it. Even if it's a sweet, he will enjoy that sweet. Why he will enjoy that sweet? Because it was given by law. It was given by what? By law for his husband. There are, there are things you must have in a relationship. You must have a vision. When you see a man, See a vision of the man. When you say man, you cannot see a man without a vision of the man. You cannot see a man smoking food and you say this man has a vision. Yes, he has a vision, but he kept that uh, looking down for the moment. See a man that has a vision that can be an impact in your life. Then you, you, you are the relationship to be built in a good way. You have a good relationship to, to glorify God. You cannot get a relationship if you say I don't want to glorify God. And free to be fulfilled. What God has said to be fulfilled in the heart. To that end, my presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Again, thanks again for letting me stand here to talk the word to you guys. Um, my topic here is Friend of Mine. And it's a by. <laughs> It was taught by it was taught by Pastor John Barrett's content. What is Ireland? Ireland is a place where water is surrounded. And the topic is, is seek God's word. How do we seek God's word? Lots of questions in the human mind. Your Bible carries in all the answers. When you have a lot of questions, your Bible carries all the answers. Two, there are things that God has said concerning you and they are sealed. Three, there are a lot of prophetics. Four, there are a lot of profession that the Bible reveals. Three, the, verse are, the verses are Psalm 119, verse 105, Psalm 109, verse 11, 2 Peter 1, verse 12, Hebrews 16, verse 7. It's, which means to direct your life, to direct your life, to direct your life well, right with God. The word of God helps us to walk in part of His word. Indeed, they help us to walk in part of His word. And in my con own conclusion, I want to leave you with this with this word, guys. Don't use God word like an egg. You should call God word like how you handle your phone. Thank you, guys.
God bless you. Hallelujah. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Amen. Amen. Um, very quick announcement. We will all put the results together. But as it is so, when you are present now, it also they become examinable. We the Adam to Unagri. So meaning, Pastor Nat, Pastor Philip. Meaning that first evaluation we will not do with the altar, with the add the ingredients there to which we will not do. So if so if you do not perform, good then you can underperform. Impossibly on a loss on a position. 
Now pay attention now. This one I get all the mark. The father said for some I will give 30 marks for some of But for today, some of they go for 80 marks. Because you will not get four topics. So each topic will not summarize in 20, 20, 20, 20. So we will not get 10 minutes for talk on all the topics. And the total today will get over all the Over the past week, we will get over 50. Thereafter, the group will come first, they get certificate. Ladies and gentlemen, let us put our hands together for Team Bethan. The timer starts now. The time will begin now. No, 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 no. Okay, time starts now. One, two, three, go. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ipu. Yes. Oh. Continue. We time the on. Continue. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ibrahim Kamara. I'm here to represent the lesson. My topic today is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. My topic is My topic is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The subject: Holy Ghost and Youth. Teacher: Pastor Nathaniel Kamara. Five text. Act one, verse eight. Five things that the Holy Ghost is not. It is important to know that in life and in destiny, we cannot succeed without knowing the Holy Spirit, both with responsibility and his goal in our life as a human. We must understand and we must know the Holy Spirit, not only knowing the Holy Spirit, but we must understand the role and the responsibility of the Holy Spirit as a Christian. But we must understand in God's kingdom, there is a power that powers you for war. Without the Holy Spirit, you are not permitted to do the work of the Lord. Five things that the Holy Spirit, uh, that the Holy Ghost do for man. First of all, among the five, one of them you should understand that it is for the unbelievers. Number one, conviction. First Corinthians 12, verse 3. Our preaching, our, our preaching is not enough if there is no packing of the Spirit of the Lord. Your preaching is not powerful to the unbelievers of the Holy Spirit. What can make the unbelievers change from sin to from sinner to sins? John 6 verse 63. When the Holy Ghost come to the unbelievers, he conflicted them. Acts 2, verse 37. Even, even in the life of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit was involved. It was that Holy Spirit that was empowered in him. So you must understand, there is no conviction in man where it is not involved. Mark 1, verse 22. Number 2, revival to the human body. First of all, let me define revival. Revival is an outpouring of the Holy Spirit that brought about the intercession of Christ, resolving in a new degree of life in a church. Ezekiel 36, verse 25 to 27. The ministry of the Holy Spirit. The min oh, that's an... The ministry of the Holy Spirit, what the Holy Spirit can do. One, He comforts us. John 16, verse 18. He is our prayer partner. Romans 8, verse 26. Two, He shall teach you all things and He shall put you to remembrance all things. John 14, verse 26. How can I have the Holy Ghost or how can I have the relationship with Him? One, by obeying the Word of God. 2 Timothy 2 verse 16. So by constantly commune with him. One of the ways we can commune with the Holy Spirit, one by prayer, Jeremiah 33 verse 33, Ephesians 6 verse 18, Luke 8 verse 1, Genesis 19 verse 1. 
listening guys the only goal for us to gather here is to ensure that you are educated in the school of the holy spirit that ends my my presenting Hallelujah. My name is Brother Isaiah Polkote. I'm here to summarize on the topic Kingdom Builders by Pastor John Cote. Um, when he talk about Kingdom Builders, Kingdom Builders is there to summarize, is there to construct lives and feet. Kingdom Builders help how to build your feet, how to construct your feet, how to construct your life. Hallelujah. Amen. What it means to become kingdom builders in the Bible. A kingdom builder is someone who believes that God's work is not finished and that, and that we are a partnership with heaven to see the message and hope of Jesus spread around the world. How to become a kingdom builder, we how to become a kingdom builder is for us to be stand and spread the message of God to preach to the people that don't know God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> How to become a kingdom builder? One, when we live by faith, when you live by faith, you, you know that anything that you do, God will surely help you. And you believe and you, you have the proof that God will do this for you. Um, Number two, when, the, when your focus is on God alone, when you focus on God alone, that, that will make you to become a kingdom builder. Three, we, en we enlarge our faith by making God bigger in our eyes. How can you enlarge your faith? Making God bigger in your lives. Four, we should don't limit God think that he is, he is unacceptable. You should not limit God. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk on these two keywords, um, hope and faith. Some of us don't know the differences between hope and faith. Um, when we talk about hope, hope is a vision and for the future and expectation of good good for our lives and when you talk about um, faith basically faith is considered consider to consider a belief and trust in god based of evidence but without proof without total proof hallelujah the test of faith how to test your faith when you look at the book of matthew 4 verse 30 Five, and you take a look at the, the the life of Abraham and the life of Noah. When you read, read the book of Genesis seven verse seven, then that will shows how to test your faith. Hallelujah. The exercise of faith. When you look at the the, the lives of Moses and Elijah, the the, the wise man. And also, when you look at Hebrews 11, verse 6, thank you, that's it, my summarizing on this topic. Oh, good afternoon, church. My name is John Alex Zubira. And I'm here to present a topic answering the call of God that was done by Pastor Matt. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I go. The text is Matthew 22, verse 14. Now, the reason of the view is to tell you that God is the one that calls. But your answer is in your hands. And, and I want to say this. There are two types of people that come to church. One are the called ones, and two are the chosen ones. The called ones. 
these are these are those who can hear the call and choose not to answer the call of God. Two, the chosen one. The chosen one are those who hear the call and answer the call. There are two kinds of destiny. The prophetic destiny. The prophetic destiny is a God original plan for man. Two, your earthly destiny. This is to say it is possible to change. What is, what is the means to answering the call of God? One is to tell God that you are available. Isaiah 6 verse 8, Mark 1 verse 37. Note, man will not look for you until you look for God. To submit your will under his will. Acts 9 verse 6, John 14, John 4 verse 34. So how can God call? To encounter both by visual, vision or dreams, Exodus 3 verse 4, Genesis 37 verse 5. Two by giving a pattern of by giving a pattern of your lifestyle that can only be understood by a spiritual man. Luke 2 verse 25 to 29. <laughs> Hallelujah, celebrate them, amen. So they only presented on three topics. So many, the Lord lost 20 marks, 20 marks gone. 20 marks gone. Now you. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't want to go out for waste time. We don't go stick the to time. Amen. Let the group let it get ready. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Place of learning. I see when presentation they go on, some people they laugh, some people think it's something easy, people think it's something funny. Everybody else don't do their best for come and can do this presentation. Just think for a moment, if not be you, would you have done better? Or if you don't do less than what they do. Please let we let we learn for appreciate people. Hallelujah. It's a platform of learning. This is a school. Are we together? If if we not be Sabine, need not be there for the Ukaya. Amen. So let me, let me learn for take advantage of most of you miss their sessions then they, So from waiting then they, then, they, then they present the summary, you can able for learn from which you know be catch or refresh yourself. So let me not take and say this is something comic or whatever, it's something very serious. So let me take it out with much seriousness, the seriousness we deserve. Amen. Without wasting time, put your hands together as we make welcome to Zion! A.K.A. Tim Bosmos, uh, sorry, uh, Tim Zanya, sorry. Hallelujah. It is with great privilege and opportunity for me to be here this afternoon to present on the topic Kingdom Seekers, Christian Leadership and How to Handle Social Media. First and foremost, I want to appreciate our Father and the Lord, His grace, the apostolic apostle and we get for the opportunity given to me this afternoon. First of all, I want to deal with the topic kingdom seekers. Definition of seekers to study, to explore, to understand, to consider and to learn ex for to consider and to learn, etc. etc. Scriptures, Revelation 5, verse 5, Matthew 6, 33, 
Psalm 34, verse 8 to 10, and Psalm 14, verse 2. The things that we capture in the kingdom, one, righteousness, two, peace, three, joy in the Holy Ghost, scripture, Luke 2, verse 49. Importance of seeking God's kingdom. One, strength in the relationship with God. Two, reveal two versions of us. And three, your destiny and future is in the kingdom of God. Benefit. One, you will never lack anything in your life. Psalm 37, verse 10 to 11, and Jeremiah 29, verse 13. Secondly, God will prosper you. Second Chronicle 26, verse 5, and Second Chronicle 31, verse 21. Here is my first topic. We have some church. My name is Charles Aikova. I will read a short story which was taught by us by Pastor Philip Ibrahim Barry. His topic was kingdom lifestyle. Before I go further, I want to define a kingdom. According to English dictionary, a kingdom is a realm having a king or a queen as a leader. Two, a kingdom is a government influence of a king over his will, purpose, and his eternal. Three, it's also a sovereign royal government that produces a culture, moral, and value lifestyle that reflects the king. First Peter 5 verse 1, Psalm 24 verse 1, Isaiah 9 verse 6. We, we have a king that is ahead of us. God is the king of kings. All of us are kings and priests. According to Revelation 5 verse 9 to 10, Revelation 1 verse 11, Revelation 1 verse 2 to 8. Things we should know about a king. One, a king has a kingdom and the kingdom belongs to the king. Two, a king is always aware of who he is. Three, his presence. Genesis 1 verse 1 to 2, Exodus 3 verse 8. Note, your presence creates joy to others. Your presence can bring deliverance to others. Three, your presence can create good things for others. Life like a king. Life like a king. Life like God. Revelation. Life like God. In practice, relationship with God. Eden. The meaning of Eden. The garden of Eden. The mean the presence of God. Powerful things of a king. One, his dress code. When you see a king is passing, you will know by his appearance. Two, the word of God. Ecclesiastes 4 verse 4. Notes. How many of us know? How many of us know the word of God? The word of a king are like a laws. My conclusion. Our life should glorify the Lord. Finally, this is where I do my cutting. topic Christian leadership. What is leadership? Leadership is the capacity to define others or inspire others. It is motivated by passion, by the vision a person has. Leadership can go with purpose, conviction, vision, passion, and influence. Scripture, Matthew 6 verse 24, Acts 6 verse 9. Without purpose, you do not have vision. Difference of leadership. Differences of leadership. One, attitude. Two, belief. And three, confidence. As a leader, you should have good attitude. You should believe in what you are saying and what you are doing. And three, you should have full confidence as a leader. A leadership protects its people and die for it, whilst a dictatorship will not go, but rather wait for its result. And also, I want to deal with the topic how to handle social media. By the text, the text is coming from 1 Peter 5, verse 8, definition of social media. It can either be a tool of distraction or a tool of productivity. Exodus 20, 
verse 3 to 5. The greater tools of the devil nowadays in this end time is technology. Social media is a variety of online platform and technology that enables users to create, share content, and social networking. Example of social media, we have Facebook, we have YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and so on and so forth. Statistics of social media, Facebook, there are 2.9 billion users that are using Facebook, while YouTube, 2.3 billion users are using YouTube. Characteristics of social media, one, public, two, young time, three, how to use many communication, and four, users profile. How we should handle social media, one, two, to propagate the gospel, three, getting engaged in kingdom activities, four, maintaining fellowship with God, five, personal growth and development. As I conclude, you should be a kingdom seeker, and also, it should be a good Christian leadership. They should see the quality in you as a Christian and as a leader. And also, you should use social media wisely to propagate the gospel and to preach the gospel. Thank you. Okay, they still get three minutes. But clap for them. That was a very good summary. Amen. 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 So then, Summarize on all four topics and also left giving to change. Amen. Clap for them one more time. So you can celebrate yourself again. We don't want to waste time. All um, groups forget themselves ready for song ministration. After we collect, we see them all free. We are doing this in this fashion. Zion will go first. After Zion, Bethel, and we come to Ebenezer. Just a song. So you can Take your song and communicate out with Pastor Philip. Pastor Philip will begin to put up together for you now. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, can we put our hands together as I make welcome the dean of faculty, Pastor Nathaniel Joseph Kamala. Come on, put your hands together for God's Sabbath, even as we collect our seed and offerings. Can you put your hands together? You can do that car better, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. It is really a privilege to embrace this wonderful location. I just texted, I was on Facebook just now, and I, on the um, comments, I said, This is our first annual graduation ceremony of the, the Y. GBS, and it is really an honor we have just started something that will carry us for a very, very long, long, long while. Hallelujah. And this, it is just for you to know that your giving is part of the service. Nothing to say we exclude giving. No. It is part of the what? The Bible says it is the Lord that giveth the power to. You money where you get it, you get it. Now God making way for laying happen. There you get some. Hallelujah. This afternoon we are all present here and in various communities and families and society representing here. You will pick up a seed in your way and you will speak on that seed. And Father, on behalf of my family, I don't care the amount, any amount that you have, you have. On behalf of the Kamara family, on behalf of the CC family, on behalf of the Conte family, I speak to the seed. I send this seed as a sacrifice of explosion in my family that whatever that has been stunted, whatever the enemy has killed, by the reason of this, by sacrifice, I call them back to life. Am I talking to somebody here? Pick up a seed and lift that seed above your head and make that declaration. Everybody make that declaration, Lord, on behalf of this family. I don't know the family that you came from, but to each one of us here are representing the family. By the reason of this seed, Anything in my family that have died, I speak to you, come back to life in the name of Jesus. Wash now with it on the altar, do it quick. By the reason of the, this seed, I call the Kamala family, whatever thing that have died, that have broken, that is not going again. I call you to come back to life. Jesus stood at the tomb of Lysa and was having speak. 
He said, Lazarus was come forth. The Bible says, he that was dead came back to life. Something there was a word that was spoken over the dead man. And by the reason of that word, the Bible says, he that was dead came back to life. Hallelujah. It is an honor. Prophesy, make a declaration, Lord, as I'm representing this family. Whatever thing that is not working, by the reason of this, my sacrifice, I call you to come back to life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now, lift your offering above your head and say, Father Lord, accept me and accept my sacrifice. Accept me and accept my offering. Do we quit? I'm not here if you pray. Accept me and accept my offering in Jesus' name. Amen.
like either is he a son of man that he should repent. His words are yea and amen. The Bible says Abraham is staggered not in faith. You know, he believed that God, whom against hope, had promised him, was able to fulfill all that he had said concerning him. That is the God that we have come to meet tonight. And that God that does not lie will do terrible things in righteousness in our midst tonight. Can I hear your amen? Put your hands together. We are continuing this same atmosphere of worship. Even as we bring on the, on the platform, see the bellies are come and celebrate them. Celebrate them. Amen. Left out, 
Because they're not going to go for, for do dance sec. They're going to remember, say, hey, I remember the terror will be young. But say, my, my people say, they're going to say, oh, boy, oh, boy, if I tell this one, I'm going to spoon go go. But for that's what kind of dance, we are apostles, they're not going to get my <laughs> Hallelujah. But the way you are young people, you know, you know, you know, that's, that's why apostles are able to dance. Hallelujah. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't come to a very important segment. But before we do, we won't forget a very special presentation from um, Living Springs Melodium and Team. I think they are getting set. If you're doing that, go do it now. Because, um, well, I'll go get some sets. Quick, 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 quick. Five minutes. I'll put some talking. I'll try it and spin and put the music together. Get some sets in the next few minutes. Hallelujah. Amen. So when they can get some just some kind of hot five minutes praise, they will lose body while we they get um Tim Zion. Okay, so the, the dance the dance thing for put and dance together. Can we all be up, upstanding? Can we be upstanding? Yeah, pull up, pull up, pull up. I'm working in power. Walking in miracles and live a life of favor. I'm walking in power, walking in miracles, and live a life of favor.
quiet, please. Okay, our cast is done. Today. Together, put your hands together. Hallelujah. You know, the program they become more exciting than the expected for Komot. Amen. Come on, celebrate all of you. Celebrate yourself. Amen. We can't do the program, Gigi Snow. So now for this time again, we can get an address from the visionary of the young generation vacation by your school. It's not just a person but the chairman of the executive council of the Navy Springs Ministries International is our general overseer and senior pastor. He's the proprietor and founder and teacher of Levy Springs Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, people of God shall we be upstanding. Put our hands together as I make welcome to this the apostle. My father, your father, Apostle Emmy Gage. Come on, put your hands together and celebrate our father. Are you celebrating or you are just dusting your hands? Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank God for this day. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God for his faithfulness. As I can see, young people coming, spending a week to study God's word. It is a vision given to me by God. And I thank God I'm seeing it coming to pass. I'm seeing it be fulfilled. Amen. And I'm grateful to God for that. Am I talking to somebody? I'm grateful to God for that. It will be better and bigger. Amen. Next side will be better than this. Amen. It will be bigger than this. Amen. Also, I want to appreciate you for giving yourself to God. Giving yourself 
and also being available for God to use. There are young boys, young girls, young men, young women are out there wallowing in sin and walking in the path of destruction. But you have chosen that right path. And my prayer is that you walk in that path. Amen. Don't deviate. Amen. Don't go out of that path. For the word of God straight is the road. Straight is the road that will lead to destruction. Broad is that road. But narrow is that path that leads to life. I want you to walk in that narrow path. Christianity is a narrow way, not a straight way, not a broad way. It is narrow. Are you getting me? And so, we we'll walk in that path. Let us pray. Father, I want to thank you for this day. Thank you for your grace and your loving kindness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for these young men, young women, elder one and teenager. I'm grateful unto you, O oh God, for making themselves available, for giving them the willingness to be willing to stand in your presence, to be willing to be available in your presence. Lord, may these words that they have here, may it not go in vain in their lives, but may it produce results in their lives, that your name will be glorified. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let God's people say amen. amen. Let God's people say amen. amen. I say let God's people say amen. amen. A louder amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, the thing for this here is what? The manifestations of the sons of God. When we talk about sons, we also refer to daughters. Am I communicating? That the world is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. We can say manifestation of demons in young ones, their lives. Is that not so? Kush is a manifestation of demons. Um, Tramadron is a manifestation. Am I communicating? And all those drugs that the, the youth are using, they are abusing it. It's a manifestation of demons. Romans chapter 8, verse 19 says, For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. Yes, verse 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity, yes. not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. Mm -hmm. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and traveleth in pain together until now. Hallelujah. Amen. You know the world we are living in is a world now. Sin is rampanting. Sin is taking over. Am I communicating? Yes, sin, it, before people eye to do sin, now they sin openly. They lie openly. When, when, when we look at a, the technology, now somebody can have a mobile phone, and he's somewhere else, but lying that is in another particular area. Talk to me. Yes, so people don't, they don't, they, they lie with comfort. Some can be in the public transport, and he or she is lying that, ah, they are host. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. So we can see, we can see that sin, before they used to hide to sin, now they sin openly. Before your, your, your kids is going to school, especially a female, and she's pregnant, they will take that child out of the area. But now, they they bluff with her. Talk to me. So we can see how perfect the world is. And the Bible said the world is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. You have come here for a week. You are in God's world. Now you are going out there to tell those words to them. Tell them that Jesus loved them. Tell them that the wages of sin is death. 
But the gift of God is internal life. Am I talking to somebody? Sure. Take the word to them. Tell them about righteousness. About living on the right, living holy, living pure, standing for God. For the great commission has been given to all of us. Every one of us. It's not just the job of a pastor. The great commission is the job of every child of God. Talk to your colleagues in school about Jesus. Talk to your, your fellow staff about Jesus. Talk to your kids about Jesus. Talk to your neighbors about Jesus. Talk to your children about Jesus. Talk to your family about Jesus. Am I talking to somebody? Because the world is waiting for the manifestation. Now imagine I didn't come. I didn't follow the instruction of God. I didn't come to this community. I was, told, I was telling a, a, a young lady yesterday that what I came to do is to share Jesus. I didn't come to distribute money. I came to distribute Jesus. That's my assignment in this community. To share Jesus to others. Am I talking to somebody? To make Jesus known to others. Am I talking to somebody? To tell them about his love. To tell them that he died for their sin. To tell them he's not casting them away if they could come to him. Take the same gospel out there. Am I communicating? Mm -hmm. So the world is waiting for the manifestation. We see how, how in, in our society today, the young men, young women are dying more faster than the older ones. Talk to me now. We see their lives are being wasted now. You said I saw some in, in town. Wasted, they are wasting their life. You might talk to somebody. Yeah. They become criminals. They become something else. They are destined to be perverted. Thank God you are in church. Thank God you are in church. You should thank God for that. Thank God you are in Christ. You should thank God for that. Am I communicating? You should, be, you should thank God for that. You should thank God. Are you with me? Now, how can we manifest as sons of God? I have some bullet points I put. Number one, we must be consecrated. Consecration. To be consecrated means to be what? Set apart. We must set ourselves apart. We cannot behave like them. Am I talking to somebody? We cannot talk like them. We cannot do what they are doing out there in the world. We must set ourselves apart. We saw Abraham in Genesis chapter 1. God called, told him to leave his father's house. To leave his kingdom. To what? To a land that he will take his great. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Yes. Get thee out of thy county, county, country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house unto a land that, that, that I will show thee. thee. Get thee out. We saw God separated Abraham. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. He told him to come out from among them. If Abraham was among them, he would not be found of many nations. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, Look at uh, Jacob in Genesis 32, 24. And Jacob was left alone. Jacob was left alone. And his, wife have left, his wife have left him. His children have left him. Everybody have left him. He was alone. And he wrestled with the angel. Read. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking until of the, the day. Until the breaking of day. He was separated. He was left alone. Am I communicating? <laughs> Look at Moses in, Je in Exodus chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father in law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burneth with fire. And the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn Come aside, aside and, and see the this great great sight, sight. why this bush is not oh. born. Um, hallelujah. We saw Moses was left alone. He took his father in law uh, sheep to the backside of the, 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 the mountain. And there he had an encounter with God. 
until you separate yourself, you cannot have an encounter with God. Until you separate yourself, you cannot manifest God. Am I talking to people of God? Yes, sir. Look at Isaiah. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 1 to 7, or verse 8. It's very lengthy, but let me let me, let me me just uh, uh, explain it. The Bible says, in the year King, read verse 1, only verse in 1. The King Uzziah, in the year King Uzziah died. I saw Isaiah the Lord. Isaiah saw the Lord sitting upon the throne. He saw the Lord. He saw the Lord sitting upon the throne, high and lifted up. Uh huh. And he filled the temple. the temple. So as long as Uzziah was there, he was distracted until there was a separation. Then Isaiah saw himself. He saw that he was a filthy man. He saw he was he saw himself a man with unclean lips. He saw himself that he was a sinner. Dwelling among, am I communicating? A man that ought to be a prophet became a sanctuary for a king until he was separated from Uzziah. And he, when he saw himself, he said, Who oh, am I? I'm an unclean man, a man with a filthy lips. And the angel took a coal, a life coal and, and from the altar and placed upon his lips, said, you, you, you have been sanctified. And God spoke, who will I send? Isaiah said, Yah am I, send me. We saw that he separated himself. Am I communicating? Yes, am I talking to somebody? Yes, now it is your turn. In 2 uh, uh, Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 says, we have to come out God now is talking to you, young men and women, teenager, youth. God is saying to you, come out from among them and, and, be, ye and be ye separate. Say the Lord. You cannot be, you cannot manifest as sons and daughters of God as long as you are entangled with this world. God said we should come out of it. Come out of it and be separate. Are you getting it? Come out of it and be separate. And he said what? Touch not. Touch not the, the unclean, unclean things. things. And I will Touch continue. not. The unclean things, and then God said, I will receive you. Today is your graduation day. God wants you to come out from among them. Go now and, and speak on behalf of God. Don't go back and wallow in the, in the sin. See, don't have junction, they talk the same thing. They do the same thing. We talk a lot of things that you should not involve it. Involve it. Am I communicating? So now God wants you to come out from among them. Your, 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 the business you have with them is to tell them about Christ. They come to you, bring any discussion to you, convert it to witnessing. Am I talking to somebody? Convert it to what? Witnessing. Telling them about Jesus. Inviting them to church. Take them to your church. Show them to your pastor. Uh, Pastor, this is one of my friends I brought him to you. You can talk to him. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, so you, you must be consecrated. You must be set apart. Be set apart. Are you getting me? Yes, be set apart. Next thing, I have so many points, but I'm going to just pick a few points. The next thing, you should have a vision. Vision, in other words, you see ahead. Are you getting me? So, Have a vision. In Genesis chapter 13, verse 14 says, And the Lord said unto Abraham, He said to Abraham, What did he after say? That Lord was after Lot was separated from him, lift up now then. He said, Now Abraham, lift up your eyes. And because Lot had been separated from him, he has a vision. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Now you are going to be separate from them so that you can have a vision. Vision for your life. I don't want to be like any of those pop stars. No. I want to be who God says I am. Are you getting me? I want to be a carrier of God's glory. Carrier of God's fire. Carrier of God's power. Talk to me. Yes, Are you getting me? Yes, so you have a vision. After Lord have separated, what did, Abraham, what did God say to Abraham? Lift up now then. He said, Now lift up your eyes and look from the and place look from where thou art. Where where what, 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 what way? And not world. Not world, yes. And south, yes. yes. And east, yes. yes. And west, and west. And What did he say? For all the land For which thou For all seest. the land which thou see, vision, mm. vision, 
For all the land we thou see, what will he do? To thee will I give it. To you will I give it. And to thy seed. And to thy seed. God will only give you what God will only give you what you see. If you can't see it, God will not give you. Listen to me. If you can't see it, God will not give you. God will give to man what he see. He said to Abraham, if you can't see it, I will give you vision. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Vision. Are you with me? Yes, sir. God cannot give you what you cannot see. A manifestation you cannot see. God cannot give you. A manifestation you cannot see. I told you I, I was preaching to, to Banana Tikrem, not to have it on that yesterday. I saw myself preaching this gospel. And God said, Take, take the grace for it, take the empowerment for it, take the anointing for it. If you can see yourself, not every one of you will be pastors. No. But what do you see concerning your life? What do you see? Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 11 and 12. What did he say? Jeremiah chapter 1. It says, Moreover, the word of God of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Then saith the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen. Thou hast well seen. For I will esteem, esteem. my word to perform it. Esteem what you see. I will esteem my word to perform it. Jeremiah said, I said, I don't want me. I don't want me. It's the first thing that wake up in the morning. And God said, you have seen well. Since you have seen well, I will esteem my word to perform it. I will bring it to pass. What is the vision for your life as a young one? I was talking to somebody yesterday. I said, what do you want to do when you finish school? What do you want to become when you finish school? I'm asking him, what is your vision? Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. What is your vision? In the next five years, this is 2024. In the next five years, 2029, what do you want to be? Remember, five years will be added to your age. Five years will be added, will, will be five years of your time will be required. Talk to me. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? The third thing, supplication, that is prayer. If you can be separated, you have a vision, it must be backed up with prayer. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. In Luke chapter 20, in Luke chapter 9, verse 29, we saw that Jesus prayed. As he prayed. Yes. The fashion of his countenance. As Jesus was prayed, the fashion, the fashion of his what? His countenance, countenance was, was altered. And his raiment was white. His and raiment was what? White, white and glory. Glory feeling. If you can pray, then God can answer. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. Don't, don't, don't stop pursuing people. Stop pursuing men. Pursue God. Mm, talk to me now. Pursue God. Pursue God. Talk to God. Commune with Him. Look at Jesus commune with His Father. That is that the, the, the glory feeling that His fashion of His countenance changed. Because He was a man of prayer. Look at Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 19. What did he say? I thank my God, I speak with tongues. God was telling me more than you. I all. thank God because I'm a man of prayer. I'm a man of prayer. I speak in tongues more than you all. I pray more than you all. Look at it. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. He said, I thank God. I speak with what? Tongues more than, more than you all. Yesterday, some of you are baptized in the Holy Ghost. Keep praying in tongues. There is power I pray in tongues because your, your understanding is limited. The Bible says, if any man speaking in tongues, he speaketh mystery unto God. The Bible puts it, how big he speaketh the secret truth. Prayer. The Bible says, men ought to pray always and not to faint. Be a man and a woman of prayer. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Three, Three words. Pray without, without ceasing. Anytime you can pray. Are you getting me? Prayer is praise. We are destiny manifested. 
there is a place where destiny is manifested. If you can pray, your destiny will be manifested. If you can pray, when you don't pray, your destiny is corrupt. Because Jesus said, my house shall be what? The house of what? Prayer. Your, the Bible says your body is the temple. Your body now is the house of God. Let prayer dwell in you. Because if you don't, he said, when, when, he, when he, he, he made them buy and sell it in his house, he overturned their table and cast them out. Because he said they have made the house a den of thieves. So when you don't pray, your destiny is robbed. Listen to me very well. Because they refuse to pray. So now they turn it to den of what? Thieves. You, when you don't pray, you invite thieves in your life. You invite demons in your life. Listen to me very well. You invite them to make a feast of you. To take what belongs to you. Am I communicating? Yes, Am I communicating? Yes, Number what? Four. Divine habitation. Make God's presence your own bread, your, your house. Make God house your place. Are you getting me? I told you yesterday, David said, I was glad. When they say unto me, We are, let us go to chilling, go to club, go to secret society. But we are, we are the house of the Lord. Make God's house your house. Are you getting me? Dwell in his presence. Look at Genesis chapter 39, verse 2. And the Lord was with Joseph. Who was with Joseph? The Lord. Who was with Joseph? The Lord. I can't hear you, John. Who was with Joseph? The Lord. I can't hear you louder. Who was with Joseph? The Lord. The Lord. I pray that the Lord will be with you. Amen. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. Look at verse 31, verse 21. But the Lord was with Joseph. But the Lord, in, in, in verse 2, he said, and the Lord was with Joseph. In verse 21, but the Lord was with Joseph. Even in prison, the Lord was with Joseph. Am I talking to somebody? Make God your habitation. Divine presence. Divine presence. Divine. Get God now you owes. Tell God who now you owes. Am I communicating? Tell God who now you owes. In fact, if you, if you invite me any sir, I'm going with my God home. I'm not leaving God now outside. I will take God inside. And I will tell you that I can't with me God home. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. Don't be ashamed to say it. Take God with you. Am I communicating? Look at Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Our God anointed How Jesus from Nazareth the Holy Ghost and the why, why was he anointed? Because he dwelt in his father's house. It make God a habitation. Am I communicating? It make God an indwelling place. Make God your home. Make God your habitation. Make God your dwelling place. Am I communicating? Always go for his presence. And you see what we do. He said, How God anointed Jesus with of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with what? Power. And what did he do? He, he went about to do what? To manifest. He went about to do what? To manifest. And look what, what was his manifestation. He was doing good. Doing good uh -huh. all he was healing oppressed. all that were oppressed. Of the devil. Why? For God was with him. Why? God because was with him. Who was also with God? Who was with Joseph? God. Who was with Jesus? God. Who is with you now? God. He's with me. Emmanuel. God with us. Am I communicating? Now he's no longer with us. He's now in us. That is the Holy Spirit dwelling in us. Are you getting me? Are you getting me? Are you getting me? Yes, sir. The last point. Impartation. Impartation is the transform, is the transmitting of spiritual virtues. Impartation is the transmitting of spiritual virtues. When you go back to be in church, serve God. Take the instruction of your pastors. When they instruct you, take it because they are going to impact your life. Are you getting me? And there are diversities. In Acts chapter 4, verse 13. Now, when they saw the boldness of when Peter, when they saw John, the boldness of two unlanded men, Peter and John, two men that they didn't go to school, but they sat under Jesus. What did they say? And perceived that they were unlanded yes. and ignorant men. Yes. 
They marveled. They what? They marveled. They marveled. Uh -huh. And they took knowledge. And they of them. took knowledge of them. Of them. Why? That they had been with Jesus. That they had been with Jesus. You can't be with Jesus and your life be the same. Yes, These were unlearned men. These were men that will not be go to school. Are you getting me? They not be go to school. But they sit under the feet of Jesus. Just like you have been there for five days. Learning. Different pastors taught you. Go with that thing. Let them know that you didn't spend five days in vain. Now you people and I also don't know, say, let them not let, let them not say, ah, you could just waste your time no more. You just go waste time no more. No, let them see you. Let them see Jesus in you. Let them see the glory of God in your life. The Bible said they took knowledge that they have been with Jesus. They saw their boldness. They saw them manifesting. What happened? They have been impacted. In the five days past, every day impartation was taking place in your life. Am I talking to you? Yes, every day impartation from every word of God you hear and you accept it impacts your life. It brings transformation in your life. They took note of them that they have been with Jesus. Are you with me? Yes, Are you with me? Yes, note this. Your spiritual father is your spiritual ladder that guarantees you for your next level. Have respect for your pastors because they are your spiritual ladders for your next level. You use a lift because you don't want to strain to climb stairs. Lift make it easier for you and move you faster. Your pastor is your spiritual ladder that lifts you up. You don't need to struggle to get to where he has. Where he is. Are you getting me? If you can submit, it can lift you up. Peter said to that man at the beautiful words, silver and gold have I known, but such as I have. In the name of Jesus, he stretched forth in his hand and lift him up. And what happened to that man? The Bible said his ankle and his feet and his ankle received what strength. He was lifted up. What would have taken 10 years? Took him 10 seconds. Am I talking to somebody? Let's guys up. Yeah, you can clap, you can clap, you can clap, clap well, clap very well. Guys up, clap very well. You are humbly God. When you honor a man of God, not God, you will honor. So clap very well. Clap like men and women who, who have received. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Father, I want to thank you for this moment. Thank you for the things you have done in this place. For the past five days, you have been faithful. For the past five days, you have impacted lives. For the past five days, the word has been delivered unto them. Father, I pray that these words will not go in vain in their lives. These words will not go in vain in their lives. But the word will be productive, producing results in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. I will hand over to the dean of the faculty, Pastor Nat. You know what to do next. Can you please take our beautiful seats? Put your hands together for me. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are now about to enter into very, 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 very most important part that we have all been waiting for. Hallelujah. And I don't know who I should call sir. This is so big. What? With the group. Okay. We we'll start with the group first. Um, Pastor John will give us we run down of. Somebody say yeah. yeah. Louder. Yeah. Why is 
they are waiting to change over, you know, we don't, we don't have a guarantee, etc. Turn off the fan. Somebody can let people do this first. The next one. Certificate, but you come out 
and shake Pastor Philip in hand, then you go get the opportunity for do the vote of thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, the best presenter for this year's um, Young Generation Vacation Bible School is no less a person but Sister Linda from Zion House. Come on, put your hands together, put your hands together. Amen. Hallelujah, put your hands together for them. Appreciate them, appreciate them, hallelujah. Uh, we are now in a very, very, very important part of this certificate distribution. Hallelujah, can you please come together now? Go to your seat. Hallelujah. Go to your seat. Everybody, um, at this point, I want to make we get just a silence, please. Hallelujah. I know we are we are youths and teens and also young adults, so the place has to be excited. At this point, I want you to stand on your feet and put your hands together as we call on our Father. He will be the one that will be the first person here that will be handing over the certificate. So put your hands together for our Father, the General of Asi and the Senior Pastor of the Living Springs. In fact, all the three pastors that are coming to the presentation. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. We, we, we still need the yes, sir. For coming to the balance presentation to Hallelujah. And can you please take your seat? Put your hands together for the second person that will be handed over the certificate to is no less a person but Pastor Nathaniel J. Kamara. Call the next person, not to know that person, Pastor John A. Conte Barrett, which means to be for the man of God. Hallelujah. The third one is Pastor Philip Ibari. Put your hands together for me. <laughs> I will call on Pastor John for this one, for this presentation. The first person here is Minister Peter Paul Conte. And after him, we have Minister Christian Abraham. After Minister Christian Abraham, Minister Mabel Sia James. Followed by Miss Minister Iman Manuel P. A. Lahai. <laughs> and we also have Minister Deborah. We are Kamara, my wonderful wife. She's not here, but I will take it on her behalf. Hey, where are you? Put your hands together as we call Minister Esther. Hey, where are you? Hey. 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 John the Baptist talk and they say that it's one who the latchet of his shoes are not really I'm not worthy to all time. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 
Vickiness Lucida FK Lahai. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not <laughs> Dickiness Janet M. Williams. Yeah. Alright, we call up Pastor Philip for this one. Dalton Kamara. Followed by Gracie Taylor. Oh, oh and Dalfred Taylor. Again, Glory Yemis Tilo.
Ibrahim S. Kamara. Kita segera di kamera dan nama di kamera. Ini masih dalam pesan. Naomi Kamara. Kita fikir sana juga. Michaela L. Kanu. Ini left with Anna Ricola Pesci. Don't have me down at this church. You didn't go make a play with a good face. Followed by Ibrahim Kamara. Don't have me down at this church. Frances Pakama. Frances Pakama. C.A.H. Jimmy Alléluia. Pour les candles de propre ici, à Eloï, vous êtes sur votre site, c'est pour les candles. Amen. Ou encore, go to the last, second to last item at the agenda with the vote of thanks. Can we give it up for our best presenter for this year's young generation vacation right now? School, sister Michaela Kalu, come on platform. for thanking everybody God in here today for the grace and his grace 
only be to God. Once again, I say thank you, thank you, thank you, God bless. As we quickly make one call, Pastor Nathaniel, for the closing prayers and we're done. Amen. Shall we please be upstanding? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you. He said, the entrance of the world, give it light and give it understanding unto the simple. Father, as your word we have received today, let it be established in our life. And let that word create fountains of water, whereby people will come and they will go for meeting in the name of Jesus. Give us the grace so that we can be witnesses for the Lord in the name of Jesus. We will not go all into our houses and be sitting down, but we will be witnessing, telling people about the goodness of Jesus Christ. As we are about to go, Lord, let your presence carry us. Every plans of the enemy that they have scheduled and arranged for us, Lord, it come to nothing in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for our family. Thank you for this program. Thank you for our Father and the Lord. Thank you for the pastors. We bless your holy name. Glory and praise we give unto you in the name of Jesus. As tomorrow again, we will go and prepare to be in this place, being God safe and sound in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Surely God, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord.